In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to take a simple model like this low poly tree and texture it. This is going to be how to texture it with gradients. If you want another video on how to do something else like Substance Painter or Photoshop or something, I can do a tutorial for that. Let me know in the comments. But here, I'm going to be showing you how to use gradient palettes. These are really good ways to texture models fast. You can make your own in some softwares, but I'm going to show you today how to do it differently. So if you just search on Google gradient palette, you'll get loads that come up. Stuff like this. Things like this are good, but you need to realize some of these won't be royalty free, which means if you use these and use them in your game, your game could get taken down. And if you sold models like this, you could get sued. So I would recommend you make your own, but there is a really good one. I don't know how you spell it. Um, this one is definitely royalty free. This, this color palette here is free. You can see it's on the dev forum. It's made by a YouTuber. This guy here called Infenzia. You see he, his videos are really good and he made this color palette. So you can use this one. I'll link the dev forum post here in the description, but you can just do right click and then save image as and save it on your computer. And then you want to come back to Blender. And this way, make sure your model is all one. So this tree, you see this stuff is all one. And go into object mode, make sure you're in object mode or edit mode. Go down to this little checkered ball, click on it, click new. And then next to base color, there's a little yellow dot, click on that. And then go up to image texture. This, I don't want to be going too fast, but if you just watch this video in slow-mo, if you don't know how, like, if you keep getting lost, once you've done that, you want to click the little new thing here. Oh, no, you want to click open. Open, and then locate that on your computer, the, the palette. So as you can see there, I've got the color palette in that little spot now, and it should, You, if you want to see it on your model, you have to click this little checkered checkered um, ball in the top right. But you can do it on solid mode if you change it, because normally by default, your blender looks something like this. Uh, if you go up here and change its texture, and I like to use flat, flat always looks good. So you can kind of see I can see it on my model now. And now we want to pick what gradients we want where. So if we go over to the top here, UV editing, this is just a good little mode to see what, what goes where and stuff, you know, UVs wise. And here, I'm going to use the L key whilst hovering my mouse over the leaves. So L, L, L selects all of those parts. Um, but you can do this by going into face mode so you go to face mode and just select face by face so for example you wanted some of these to be one tone of green and some another you can but i'm going to do it simple like this and then i'm going to go into side view pressing one on my number pad and then press u and then project from view this as you can see now um, projects the model onto the uv layout thing and you can just select these Press S to scale and then move to the green you want, or unless you want like a pink tree, you know, pink tree. And as you can see here, the bigger the UV shells, the harsher the gradients. If we go over onto like this one, you can see how it's really light at the top, really dark at the bottom. If you want that to be less of a gradient, just press S and make it smaller. And as you can see, there's not much of a gradient there. If I go a bit bigger, you can see there is a gradient, but it's more subtle. So here I want to make a green tree. So I need to pick what green I want. I think something like that's a bit harsh, so maybe I'll scale there. Something like that. So as you see there, that green doesn't look bad. I'm going to turn on shadow as well, so I can get a little bit more. Yeah, um, that looks good. I like that green. But as you can see, there are lots of greens. You can try them all out. And next, I'm going to do the same for my trunk. So I'm going to unselect that and then press L on my trunk. Go into the side view. U, project from view. And now I'm going to pick a brown. The trunk's hardly visible. Uh, I'm going to flip that. I like it being light at the bottom, dark at the top. And there we go. That is how to model a low poly simple model with a texture palette. As you can see, I'll show you quickly. If you wanted to make like every... I don't know why you want to do this. It's going to look really bad. But if you wanted to make um, this like alternating the colours of the leaves, you can. So as you can see there, I selected them. And you can just move them darker and you can see you can create little patterns so for example if you had a model and you had a tv so if i literally just make like an old school tv so i go here um this is like an old tv and maybe you do l to select the entire thing and i want to make the whole tv gray so i want to make this whole tv gray i'll go for like a nice gray so you see it's gray and here if i just want to make this face different just select that face and then move it to like a blue like a screen like that then I can do these antennas, L, L, project them from view, and do like a darker grey. But as you can see, that is a simple TV. Gradient palettes aren't bad. They, they do have their purposes. However, it is always good to learn other ways to texture, as gradient palettes don't allow you to have much detail and stuff like that. So basically, that's how to use a gradient palette. I'll probably do more videos on how to do different types of texturing soon. But yeah, I um, hope you enjoyed. If you found it helpful, please leave a like, subscribe, see you in the next video. If you want to find out how to upload your models to Roblox, watch this video on screen now. Yep, that's it. Bye.